टुडे दिस क्लास इज बेसिकली एम्ड टू गिव यू द फेवर ऑफ मिनिमाइजेशन टेक्निक फॉर कॉम्बिनेशनल एंड सिक्वेंशियल लॉजिक सिस्टम देर आर सेवरल टेक्निक एग्जिस्ट फॉर मिनिमाइजेशन एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल कार्नो मैप इज वन ऑफ द मैनुअल मिनिमाइजेशन टेक्निक and the tabular format that is queen macrosy method is also a minimization technique but there have some limitation in this class we discuss about those limitation for minimization that uh, how to uh, minimize a, a circuit efficiently and effectively you know that when you design a circuit that the number of gate count is directly affected the cost of development of that particular uh, uh, circuit so how you minimize the cost here the design cost is also affected the circuit and the power requirement also affected if you not decrease the gate count one thing you keep in mind that uh, when you design uh, any digital circuit it may be sequential circuit or it may be combination circuit the gate count is an important factor so gate count is directly uh, involved in power requirement because if the number of gate is increase then it draw power more another thing is that uh, when you uh, design a circuit with larger gate there may be possibilities of delay but when you decrease the gate uh, one other important thing is that glitch so glitch may be uh, increase by using less number of gate so you have to trade off between the number of gate as well as the other parameters so let's check that uh, what are the efficient minimization technique available with us and uh, how we effectively minimize the gate count by using the newly adopted a uh, technique this technique uh, we developed here so let's check that what happened so this uh, presentation outline is the introduction part introduction of the proposed reduced two table that it rtt and the set combined map 
for miso system miso system is multiple input single output system means here the number of input variables is more than one and the output is only one okay and the new developed uh, map is called the set combined map we also discuss about the advantage of the set combined map the set combined map for MIMO system that is multiple input multiple output uh, system then the set combined map is also useful for sequential circuit minimization it is one of the manual technique for minimization the another technique is hexadecimal mean terms and the simplification technique then we move to the octal mean terms and the simplification technique and the benchmark circuit for minimization and the outcome of this uh, research so when you develop a efficient minimization technique for the combination sequential circuit uh, that we have to focus on a particular uh, object that uh, how you developed an efficient minimization technique for combinational as well as the sequential logic system then the improvement of plotting procedure for more than uh, four input combinational circuit and the purpose is systematic way for minimization of multiple input you are currently the logic, only person in this conference uh, logic circuit propose a symmetric way for minimization of sequential uh, logic circuit now the logic to a digital logic the digital logic circuit or digital system originated from the philosophy the modern digital system is nothing but the implementation of logic in electronically the heart of the digital system is binary number system which was refined by Leibniz in early 1700 BC the logic proposition and operation is started to be represented by symbol although it had already been expressed by natural language in time of Aristotle in the 4th century BC the Francis Bacon uh, is invented the bilateral alphabet code so this alphabet code are used for the symbol A and B to develop a cipher and the code ok so in 4th century BC the Aristotle first proposed the proposition and the operations by symbol by natural language in times like uh, if the rain goes uh, then we go the schools like that so if else like the statement but uh, BC Francis Bacon uh, is invented the bilateral alphabet code which is used the symbol of A and B like that now the introduction of indices by Mithil into the logic algebra is the greatest technique uh, which is taken from the price 
the Sidder Price. He is the uh, one of the uh, great men in this uh, domain. So the Charles Sidder Price uh, is also uh, says uh, in his book that index which are used by uh, methyl to the logic algebra is the greatest technique used till now to present the logic propositions. The propositions are nothing but the uh, logic statement, a simplified statement uh, which is uh, the main of uh, main or heart of the uh, logic. So this concept is very useful today uh, in digital logic design. The proposition means the input to a device which are donated by A and B. Nowadays you say that that uh, A equals to 0, B equals to 1. This means that that, that proposition is uh, yes or that proposition is no. So based on this proposition, uh, you have to derive an output and this output is without ambiguity means a particular output is there. Now the George Bull combine the arithmetic and the logic which has to two truth values either true or false means the truth values means that the one answer the either your answer is yes or your answer is no okay so two appropriate answer no ambiguity and one is opposed to each other means that if there is dark then there is no light so so that without the light we call it dark okay but there is some ambiguity in it but the proposition is that the light and the dark so dark is the effect so light and without light and dark and uh, sign. So, uh, is it visible or not visible like that type of, of statement. So, George Bull combined the arithmetic and the logic which has two truth values either true or false which has known as the Boolean algebra. The objective of this work is to the model reasoning and that could be expressed using symbol and a mechanical method of deduction based on the rules though the solution of algebraic equations the main operation of boolean algebra are that the conjunction and the disjunction or and the negation not are the invention of pools. In no logic entry is already exist in the famous book of mathematical analysis of logic at the page number 21. So the bulls, George Bulls are uh, the main operation of the Boolean algebra uh, he is included that conjunction, disjunction, negation and also the term not. So these are the very early um, research on uh, digital logic circuit is uh, 1847 so long back. Now the Henry Schiffer gave 
the first axiom based on the on NAND gate. So Alfred North Whitehead and Britton Russell promote the NAND as the appropriate foundation for axiomatic logic in the book Principia Mathematica in second edition in 1927. So in that book, uh, this proposed that any binary operation could be expressed via single logic operation by using <coughs> universal gate. So the term universal gate appear in that book which are based on the NAND gate. We know that the universal gate is NAND and NOR gate. So based on the so based on the Boolean algebra uh, which uh, was uh, reported in 1847 by George Bull that AND or NOT and also the NOT the NAND is proposed by the Henry Schaeffer. So look at the price uh, notation that uh, which used by Charles Cedar Price and uh, in my research work that I found that uh, he is uh, one of the great inventor of logic circuit. So the Price notation the if the proposition X is true, then uh, it is symbol by the notation V minus X. And the notation is proposed by the price is simple X. So look at that uh, how simple uh, way the price represent the logic. Though it looks like very simple but be honest when you consider the e equals to mc square a relation it is also very simple equation and all of us know about it but the discovery of e equals to mc square is changed the world so the equation if look like the very simple but if you go through, oh, into the deep you understood that it is uh, very much important in uh, our life so simple the proposition which x is true uh, by denoting with a single letter is also a discovery okay so all of uh, us uh, know that uh, the things are going on which may be a very simple but the effect is high so always remember that uh, the main thing is noting something. The documentation is play an important uh, role for this purpose. So if the proposition X is false. So true is over that if the proposition X is false. You are currently the only person in this conference. Then the proposition X is X minus F 
or 1 minus x that is equals to x bar so x so if the proposition x is false then x minus f or 1 minus x is denoted by x bar and today you use this type of uh, notation which is used by price notation so look at the impact of this uh, notation so if x or y or both are the disjunction form so either x or y or both x y so it is denoted by this symbol uh, but the price proposed as x plus y so this is nothing but the or operation so look at that the or is mathematically formed by George Bull okay. so the George Bull is represent the or get but the price is denoted the or get by x plus y so if both x and y is conjunction that is the both x and y have to true so it is nothing but the and get so this notation is proposed by price so canonical disjunctive form that is sop is uh, not found that uh, before the price and he denoted as sop with sum because it is sum of product and the canonical form that is false form is pi so i tabulated uh, from different book uh, study by the charles sinter's price book original book that uh, as far as the history of digital logic and i found that this type of uh, work is done by charles sinter price now the William Ockham statement is that the negation or contradictory of a disjunction is equals to the conjunction of the negation of the alternate. So look at this uh, statement. So this statement is uh, like that the de Morgan's law so the negation or contradictory of a disjunction is equals to the conjunction okay so is equals to the conjunction of the negation of the alternates so look at the expression so if you use that expression that is this is the disjunction and this is the um, complement so it is become the complement of x and complement of y so you just use the charles sitter price is denoted the simple x plus y bar equals to x bar dot y bar so you are getting surprised that uh, when we call the de Morgan's theorem is the de Morgan theorems is basically the William of Ockham statement is similar so the William of Ockham statement and the de Morgan's law is the similar it is a statement and it is the representation 
and this representation is finally modified by Charles Sinter Price. So I already says that that the work of Charles Sinter Price is uh, a great work and it is found in the American Journal of Mathematics uh, volume 7 number 2 which is published in 1885 the page number 182 196 so this uh, notation look at the paper is for the on algebra of logic a contribution of the philosophy of notation so this paper is basically uh, work on the different kind of uh, notation yes it is a great discovery that we use this type of uh, notation until now and this type of notation not for engineering it is also for uh, any philosophical uh, uh, relation and the research work so that a great uh, work uh, is uh, uh, is a contribution of our nation by the Charles Sidder Price. Look at that uh, this paper in uh, 1847 and this paper is 1885 and look at the discovery of NAND gate is 1913 so look at that this is nothing but this is nothing but the NAND gate and it is discovered in 1923 oh, sorry 1913 so 1913 and it is in 1927 that uh, Whitehead and the Russell, the principia of mathematics proposed the binary operation could be expressed via a single logic operation by using the logic gate. So this is that. So it is proposed in 1885. So this is the great relative between the logic and after that I saw so it is the different uh, historical chronology that how you uh, developed a, a digital logic circuit and how it is useful in uh, our uh, network the modern society is depends on this logic circuit. Now, if I go back and concentrate on the logic implementation, the Charles Stanhope in 19, uh, 1753 to 1886 designed a demonstrator, a machine to demonstrate the logic proposition that machine could solve both traditional and numerical serialism in a mechanical way. And Jibos was inspired to design the advanced logic demonstration device the logic piano in 1869 then the Alan Marquand constructed the logic machine so with the help of rock wood the device was similar to professor Jibos but it was more advanced a general purpose truth function logic processor. So, this is the first the logic processor in which all the valid impl 
question of the proposition is display in a systematic way and uh, this is by the market and the price and market proof improve the logic machine by using electro mechanical switching device so the first the logic machine uh, is built by using the electromechanical switching devices and uh, uh, we check after that uh, that this uh, is the first step of using the electromechanical switch into the digital logic system in 1886 the charles sidder price is sent later look at this is the very important part and you are you currently are the, the only, only person, person in this conference, conference. sidder price sent a letter to markant describing how just a electric switch in circuit could we perform the logical operation in this letter actually uh, he is a student of charles if uh, he doing this uh, work then a remarkable uh, work is done by uh, the market letters uh, it developed by uh, is a uh, the great scientist we will discuss about it uh, in the next slide is that the marker describing how to uh, the center is describing to the marker that uh, how the electric switch switching circuit could be performed the logical operation in that letters the charles drew two simple diagram in the first diagram series switch which were designed to perform the logical multiplication that is ending and the second one the parallel switch which could be perform the logical addition that is oring and this letter uh, you can find that uh, here in the reference i or oh, i give all uh, documented now look at the 1891 the stroger switching circuit you know that the this switching circuit is switching circuit is uh, used in uh, the traditional telephone system and this switch is basically used for manual switching operation okay so based on the design of electromagnetic relay to implement the and operation now you are currently the only person in this conference well that both invented the coincidence circuit the first modern electronic and gate in 1924 and got a part of nobel prize in physics in 1954 so look at the henry shepard that give the first axioms that's why i call that this is the uh, very important part so henry shepard gave the first axioms system based on the nand the alfred north whitehead and peter russell promote the nand as the appropriate foundation for axiomatic logic in the book of principia mathematica in the second edition in the 1927 and this is the a very important uh, book 
So, 1927 by Whitehead and the Russells is proposed that any binary gate or any binary operation could be expressed via a single logic operation that is by using the universal gate. Now, Shannon analysis of switching circuit. So look at the, the Shannon's and that the modern digital circuit is based on the Shannon's. But if you go back, that the electrical switching circuit, which is using the Boolean L algebra, is, is already described by price in this letter okay and 1886 so we know that the Shannon work that uh, he is uh, he is doing the remarkable work but if Markant use the price instruction actually he is a guide okay so if he use or follow his instruction then the credit will go to him okay so price already described but uh, through a letter to a student not in public form but that is the letter also used as the uh, uh, evidence. So, in 1936, the Shannon made possible to analyze any electrical switching circuit by using the Boolean algebra. He established a similar relationship between the Boolean algebra and the switching system. Now he used the 0 and 1 as a symbol. So previously x and x bar. Now the Shannon used as 0 and 1 as a symbol. So look at the 0 and 1 which we use in digital uh, circuit is nothing but a symbol as a symbol to describe the hindrance of any close and open electrical switching correspondingly. He also used the plus for each series connection which was related to ending operation to represent the parallel connection he used the dot which was related to ORING just opposite. Okay. Uh, the price uh, Shannon used the plus for ending and dot for uh, ORING. And nowadays uh, we use the uh, different symbols. So look at the switching circuit interpretation table. So this Shannon, this is taken uh, from the Shannon C 1938, a symbolic analysis of relay and switching circuit in electrical engineering 57 page uh, 12 volume page number 713 to 723 he used that this type of uh, symbol for open circuit he used one but but uh, in we use the open circuit as zero and this is the price realization the closed circuit, the Shannon uses zero, but closed service means circuit is uh, closed. We use as one now, but Shannon is interpret just oppositely. And look at the for parallel connection. Parallel connection means A or B. So, so in parallel connection, the Shannon use dot 
but price use plus and series connection the Shannon use plus and the price use dot so look at that the different uh, representation so though uh, Shannon is uh, used in 1938 and the price is uh, nine, uh, is very earlier but till now we use the price realization though the Shannon work was a great work because uh, he he used uh, first the electromechanical switch okay by the logic operations means from paper to real life is converted by the channel though price already described that it may be possible to use that type of connection to implement and and all logic but the great work is done by the Shannon. So, if you go through the uh, representation, there are the several way to represent any switching circuit look at the this is the tabulated form of representation there are a b c and the output is y so this is the two table format look at for different combination of input we are tabulated all its output are written here as a b c so a b c are the three input of a system a b and c and this is the output of y. Let here a, b and c value are 0, 0, 0. Means the all our logic values are, are 0 here. Okay. Now what is the output? I consider that the when the all logic values are 0 a b and c equals to 0 0 0 so y equals to 1 now for the input 0 0 1 the output y is 0 these are the different combinations and based on the combination the logic output may be 0 or uh, 1 so this is the one or the representation of a uh, two table tabulated from now this tabulated from is called the mean term for a particular combinations so look at that the few terms contain 1 and few terms contain the zeros. The zeros of which the term contain zeros is called the product of sum that is POS from and the POS from is denoted by pi. So pi is basically the zero position and the summation uh, is basically the sum 
product of sum that is passed from which indicate the one positions the for which combination the output is one look at for 0 0 0 you are currently the only person in this conference Zero four six seven. Look at that zero 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 is the zero position, and this is zero. This is one, ah, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the one at zero position, one as at fourth position, and one at Six position and one at C seven position. So where the ones are uh, present, we just write here. So zero zero zero, the one is here. That is zero position. And the different combinations are written A B C. And the why? So these are nothing but the logic statement. So if the all statements are zero, then the output is one. Okay. So in this way, we set up the rules for a circuit. So zero 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 is one. Then for This is one. This is uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three inputs. So the number of combination here is two to the power three, means eight. So zero to eight. My zero to seven means the total eight combinations are there. So look at. This combination zero 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 is one. So there are two form of you are representation. You are currently the only person in this conference. One is summation form, that is SOP form. So this symbol indicate that SOP sum of product. Why this symbol use? Look at. Zero 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 one. First I denote one and zero. So this is the zero block, and the zero block is one. So I write here zero. Fourth block. Look at this. Is the fourth block is one. So the four is here. Then six, and then seven. So in this way, the summation is written, and the product of sum is written by this pi symbol, and it indicates that the position of zeros. Look at the position of zeros here. So this is the first position. Zero zero one is one. Zero zero one is one. So this one is uh, written here. Zero one zero is uh, zero. That is in two. Two hello two is zero. This is three, and three hello is zero. So we write three here. Then one zero one that is five, and this five is written here. So in this way, the summation that uh,
product of sum and the sum of product are written now why this called like that so look at a zero zero means a bar b bar c bar okay so a bar b bar c bar that is plus so it give you the one value okay plus where one zero zero also give you the one value so one zero uh, zero means a b bar c bar so a b bar c bar is here plus six six means a b c bar a b c bar and seven means one 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 so it is one 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 so in this way the summation is written so it is in summation form the either this will be one or 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 this will be one so all are keep the equivalent one here now if you go through this that y equals to a b c equals to pi m 1 2 3 5 so you are one, currently the only person in this conference the one means here this is the one zero zero one so one means if you go through the algebraic form in as per the de morgan's law it is y so this y bar the y bar is uh, just uh, written in opposite form that is the b plus c look at in y bar equals to b 1 here so it is 0 0 so 0 0 1 is not here so actually a bar b a bar Consider the bar as zero uh, here, bar as zero here, but in case of first form, we consider a as uh, one means just the opposite. So uh, from here we start zero zero zero, but uh, for a b c we start as one means. The B plus A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C when it is one, and uh, that uh, that is uh, it become a zero point. So just the opposite. In case of the POS POS form, that is product of sum form, we take just the opposite of SOP SOP, the sum of product and POS here 0 and here the 1 look at the these two are the thing based on the duality if you go through the duality rules then these two are the same thing but in opposite and both are follow the same uh, expression okay so if it is uh, yes then uh, that also be uh, yes in case of the duality format and you get the uh, same expression uh, one term for using uh, and or gate that is uh, and and it's uh, the or or in between them these are the 
and a b c and this is the or of this product and here just opposite here the or gate is replaced by the and gate and this and gate is replaced by or gate and based on the multiplication that it gives you the uh, result so this is the graphical forms and the another forms is the map form which is expressed um, by the vinci and after that it modified by the carnot then what happens uh, he just uh, use it into the base of uh, decimal number 0 1 2 3 but the carnot use it as uh, by developed by using the binary uh, sorry, gray code and the gray code binary equivalent of the gray code uh, is uh, nothing but the uh, 1 for 0 0 uh, 0 for 0 0 then 1 for 0 1 and 2 for the 1 1 not 1 0 1 1 and 3 for uh, just opposite of 1 0 so this is the one bit change from binary to gray code look at the in gray code uh, only one bit change give you the next result but in case of the uh, decimal number you decimal are currently equivalent, the only person in this decimal context. equivalent numbers is not give you uh, the same uh, result so look at this is 0 0 0 1 1 1 and uh, 1 0 so this block there are uh, so we can represent any form as tabulated form coded form algebraic form graphical form and the tabulated form that is the map form so when you try to minimize by your uh, manual minimization you have to use this 